Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, we should have got one of those poppers. Here, let's pretend. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was going to pull it and you were going to do this. But we both pulled. <laughs> So it's New Year's, which means yeah. the new you. New year, new me. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag. Let's make lots of goals and let's not do any of them ever. No, but we, okay, <laughs> these are going to be some suggestions that you should actually do all year. Not like going to the gym, because you know you don't actually do that. Okay, in like actually, February. speaking of that, I want to share a metaphor. This is, I, I thought long and hard about this one. Okay. And, and I think it's beautiful. So let's imagine... You're building a house uh -huh. on four trees. Like Why? What kind of tree? I don't know. Oak okay. trees. Okay. You just are, okay? Okay. Now, a lot of people, they try to do it all at once. They just try to like, okay, I'm going to fix everything about me in one month and I'm just going to do everything every day that I need to do. I'm going to be better. Mm -hmm. That's impossible. Right. You know, it's, and we always fail and we always just like leave off. So what I found to help me is that I'll notice, like, let's say my these trees are my base, you know, my foundation mm -hmm. in the gospel, and I'm focusing really hard on watering the tree of scripture reading. Mm -hmm. And the other trees start to get, like, a little wilted, so that then I'm like, okay, now I need to focus more on this other thing. Mm -hmm. I still read my scriptures, but maybe it's just not as focused, right. you know? And I think that's a more realistic way of viewing goals that instead of saying, I'm going to go 100% on every single goal that I've ever made, right. recognize that your attention is going to shift uh -huh. from one goal to another. Yep. Now, the, the trick is retaining a little bit of what you learned from that goal. Not all of it, mm -hmm. just a little bit. So I think it's completely reasonable to be on like a scripture kick yeah, and no, just I think go so crazy. And then when you switch to a prayer kick where you're just going crazy on prayer, just make sure that you still read your scriptures. Yep. And so that's what I think. And you just have to constantly be watering all the trees at your base. You can't water them all at the same time because, because that just overwhelms you. That's you, like you don't have about, enough. Yeah. You like, don't have enough just, to go around. And yeah. You, you then you feel bad about yourself because you feel like you're not doing anything at all. Right. And then it, you know, tree wilts and dies and your house crushes. Okay, that was the metaphor. I feel like it was unnecessary, but well, it just is sad because then the other trees wilt. Right. It's okay. It was a good try. Thank you. <laughs> I try. still liked it. So, but. <laughs> so the point of this is small goals and it's okay to focus on one thing and then focus on another thing. Yeah. Like don't try to do everything at once. Um, but speaking of goals, we do have some specific ideas of yeah. stuff you can do to improve your spirituality and grow closer to the Savior. Yeah, like mine is one that I really want to work on because it's just something that I want to make a part of my life. And I want this to be something like I'm known for and remembered as like, I want my kids to be like, oh my gosh, like my mom was so good at that. Not that I'm having kids anytime soon because I am not. But uh, ministering, ministering is obviously a huge thing. It was changed last year. Last year, can last you believe it? Last year. 2018. Uh -huh. Like old news. But um, <laughs> I never thought this day would come. I literally <laughs> thought the world was going to end before this. Like I, I was so sure. Justin. Like I knew, I knew it wasn't going to end in 2012. Like that was ridiculous. But I was like pretty sure 2015 was it. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh. I was kind of bummed when it did yes. like, It's fine. <laughs> Got to keep trying for a little bit longer. Oh my gosh. No, you're fine. But okay. anyway, ministering is something that's super important. And I'm not just talking about like doing like it to the people that you're assigned to because we have ministering assignments so that everyone in the church can be visited. And ministering, by the way, is just loving for and caring other people. Just focusing on other people and not yourself for a little bit. And I know sometimes, especially in today's day and age, it can be hard because I feel like a lot of people are so self-centered and everything's just about you. Like social media, it's all about you. And you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's just weird. So yeah. it's good to just step outside of that and help other people. So my goal and what I would love to challenge you guys to do as well is to really focus on ministering to someone at least once a week. Like I said, this doesn't need to be the people who you minister to because I don't know, my people might get annoyed. It's like with not me. your assignment, but just Yeah, like not your assignment, but just people in a general. Human. Yeah, so Does family for, count? Yeah, absolutely. Family can count. That's the easy um, one. <laughs> friends, I mean anyone. This can be something small. It can be talking to someone who you see on campus who looks sad. It can be 
I don't know, like holding the door open for someone or helping if you see people have boxes. And what I would love to challenge you to do too is write these things down or record them in some way because it will just help you. Like if you're having a rough day and you look back at these experiences because right. you feel it and you remember how you felt when you did it. So that's my challenge for you. Hopefully it will help because just helping other people and serving and doing things not just for yourself will actually help you feel better too. Yeah, no, well, and it's just like, it's kind of counterintuitive the world the way the world the world looks at it because you would think that if you focus on yourself you are going to get better right but the savior shows us that it's that's the exact opposite Mm -hmm. is that you become a better person by focusing on others yeah absolutely i remember there was a time where i was in high school and it was a really rough time i was going through family problems and i was depressed i was not it was not a good time for me but the thing that helped me the most as odd as it sounds was serving people. And it sounds weird because if you're like feeling depressed, you're like, oh, well, you should do things for yourself. Like take bubble baths, whatever, read magazines, like do things that make you happy. And those things can help to an extent. But when you are helping other people, when you're in service of your fellow beings, you're in service of your God. And that is the best way that you can learn to love yourself and find yourself if you're going through a rough time. Yeah, exactly. And then you definitely can forget about your own problems as yeah. you're like focusing on helping others. You realize that your problems are a lot smaller than uh-huh. you thought they were before. Absolutely. Um, one of the goals that I, I want to work on is, I mean, scripture study, well, reading the scriptures is one thing, mm-hmm. but like actually getting something out of it. And so my goal is to read at least, at least one verse every day, mm-hmm. but then think about the verse. And specifically, like, if it's a morning or nighttime prayer, or just in general, but pray about that verse. Oh, cool. And to see, like, what I can learn from it. Yeah. And then, I mean, if I, like, write it down or put it in my phone or something, like, make notes. And I think, you know, I'll probably, there'll be days where I'm reading scriptures that probably are, like, not that, you know, like, wars and all this stuff. And right. I'll be like, okay, like, maybe there's not something huge to learn. But I think that will take my scripture reading to scripture study, you know. Yep. And that's what I hope to happen there. Um and another thing I thought that I want to work on too is there's been so much focus on temples lately. Mm-hmm. And so I think, and I don't know, this is kind of different for everybody, like where you live and yeah. what your situation is. It Like, I just want to work on making the temple more part of my life, like looking at my schedule and see like realistically, how often can I go to the temple? Right. If it's only once a month, then that's great. I think I can go a little bit more because in Utah we have like kind so many. Around. But I think that's be a really cool goal is to look at and let's say you're not even a member and you can't go into a temple. Well, maybe just going to the temple grounds and just, yeah. you know, just being there, being in like in the presence of God's house. Like I think all those experiences help build our faith and show God that we are putting forth effort. Absolutely. Yeah. I need to do that too. Yeah. It's just hard. The thing with going to the temple, it can be hard too because we live in Utah. We don't have like a one an annual trip that we go on because temples are far away, like from our houses and stuff. Right. But for me, it's like, since temples are so close, I'm like, oh, I had it scheduled to go with my husband like this day, but oh, we can push it to next week. It's, it's not really like an urgent easy to, no, deadline. That makes sense. Like yeah. you can keep pushing it off. Because when so. the temple's far away, yeah, you organize your whole month around right. that. But when it's a casual goes. thing, it's every day. It's like, yeah, you can just keep on procrastinating. Uh-huh. Oh, I've totally done that. So or, that's what I need to work yeah. on. No, amen. <laughs> Let us know what your New Year's resolutions are. We're really excited to hear them. Let us know if you'll be trying any of the suggestions that we tried out. And you can connect with us on social media personally, and we can, like, chat about how everything's going. Um, I would love that. I we think can motivate each other. It's like, really you know, fun. when you diet, you know. Accountability be, buddy. Accountability buddy, yep. yeah. Because <laughs> that's the only reason anybody survives the diets at New it's Year's so is because true. everyone's like, don't you eat that? No, don't you? <laughs> Yes, so be our accountability buddies. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you're notified every single time we upload videos. We have social media for Saints and Scripted. Crap! (laughs) Saints Um, and Scripted. Follow our channel social medias. We have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you did. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, we'd love to connect with you guys. That's all. (laughs) 